Hello, my name is Brian Stacks. This is my MDF-1 Project 4 review. Um, I'll start off by just going ahead and running the app. This week we were supposed to design a tab view based app uh, that the first page opened up into a web view of your choosing. Um, it'd have two tab bar menu items, one for the web, one for the source of the page, which would be like the index HTML for the page actually just show up on a text view on the second page and on the first page we wanted to show the web view but also wanted to put in some controls for the web view to be able to go back um oh got a nice little error there um where it can go back stop and reload the web page so um this comes up here i will show it to you uh Actually, go over a little bit of the, uh, Springboard failed to launch. What is going on? Let's do this just for fun. Product clean. Product build. Well, I'm, uh, I, I haven't been running this on the simulator with era 4. It's not throwing me an error. I've been actually running this on my iPad. I mean, my actual device. Um, so I don't know what is going on with the, uh, the simulator here not launching. But I'm going to step over some of this code with you. Um, I'm going to step over some of this code with you. That way you can at least see a review. I'm just going to try to run this real quick on my, on my iPad. Let's see if it builds on there. If it's giving me the error there too. I just want to see. But here get started a little bit this is my first view controller for the first web view um, you see I commented out some stuff I'd started putting UI toolbar items on there the little what it comes with just after you start typing in there into the toolbar um, but I went back and just added some UI buttons instead because that let me help that helped me get to the like I wanted to use the selected and not selected to gray out the button if you couldn't use it. Yeah, and this is it's working on my iPad. It's running, so I don't know what's going on with the other thing. Um, and then here I had to put up my web view. I called my web view here. Um, I had three on-click methods. I probably could have added them in one, but I just wanted to lay it out for myself actually a little easier. The first on click would be for the save. The second on click would be for the stop button. And the third would be for the refresh button. And then also had some uh, void uh, methods I needed to do, like my checks to make see if I could go back any farther, or if I could stop I mean because if there wasn't page wasn't loading you could that wasn't nothing to stop so it needed to gray itself out so that's these are the two methods I used to do that so in our view did low we created a string uh, with the URL uh, I went to the Webby Awards uh, just something I was looking at that day and then I created a URL I gave my web view a tag of 55 just because I was trying to do some things uh, some checks um, but they already got erased out I created the NSURL request uh, called a request object and that's just a request you from the URL we created from here and then I added uh, my web view set delegate to itself web view load the request and my web view scale pages to fit that would keep the 
the web page that pop whatever you use and with scale pages to fit you let's it um you know if it's not mobile friendly it will scale it down to fit on your mobile thing this is my own click this is my go back method you can see can go back equals true we're just going to go back if it is loading i can stop loading it that's my stop button method my reload method if it is loading is false which it means it's not loading no more then we can just reload that and then when the web view did start because if the web view is loading did start loading and has it finished load then the refresh button should not be enabled and the stop button should and the reverse right down here and then this is my checks for my back button to see if I'm at the end of a back or you know if it can go back and I set up a same you know URL request with the request data over here this is all Pretty much the same stuff in the view did load, you know, just grabbing the connection, making it a request, you know, make sure it's a valid request. Then I got a, you know, connection method here that gets my data. Add this data to our existing, you know, that way when it changes, it will append that data. Uh, this is what we when we all when every when we get everything. This is what we have to do. This is actually where I ended up setting my web view dot text from the request request screen. But uh, this has been my week four project. It's been fun actually. I got to do a little styling, a little less head work, and a lot more uh, just styling and make sure things fit right. Um, so well, thanks for uh, watching, and this has been a great class. I hope y'all have a great day.